These are respiratory changes you can get from pontine damage or damage to the part of the brain known as the pons. First, we should understand the underlying anatomy. The pontine tegmentum contains the pontine respiratory group, which includes the upper pneumotaxic center, which decreases inspiration depth and signals the medulla to increase respiratory rate. The pons is right above the medulla here. The pontine respiratory group also includes the lower apneustic center, which promotes inspiration depth by stimulating the medulla's dorsal respiratory group. There are two major types of breathing changes you can have. Apneustic breathing, which is characterized by deep grasping inspiration with prolonged end expiratory pause. This is followed by insufficient or short expiration, and it results from upper pons injury. This is uncommonly observed in humans. It's relatively rare in humans compared to animal models, and this can be temporarily induced by ketamine. There's also Cheyenne Stokes breathing. This shows a crescendo decrescendo pattern, and it alternates between central apnea, hypopnea, and hyperventilation. It affects both the tidal volume and the respiratory rate, and the cycles typically last 45 to 90 seconds each. It's also caused by heart failure, and 25 to 50 percent of heart failure patients might show this breathing pattern. These changes can result from a number of different types of damage to the pons. It could be vascular infarcts, it could be central pontine myelinolysis, and it could be from surgical manipulation as well.